Welcome everybody. So in this video I want to teach you how to model DSP in the MATLAB Simulink. I'm gonna tell you it very easily. You do not need knowledge in the MATLAB software for designing and simulating this model. By writing Simulink in MATLAB workspace and then pressing enter it opens Simulink start page then we are gonna create a blank model for creating a DSP model first we need a signal generator by going to the view tab and then library browsing it, the library browsing shows the item that you can put in the Simulink space and then here is the search toolbox. I search signal generator and then press enter. Here is our signal generator. We drag it and put it in the Simulink space. All right, next we need ray transition and we search it rate transition and then enter after that we need DSPSC modulator I just search DSPSC and then enter it shows both modulator and the modulator. First, we need a modulator, and next, we need the modulator. For showing the signal in any places, we need something called power spectral. I just search power and see what's gonna happen. Okay, I add X spectral to it. S spectral. Just consider we have two power spectral. One of them is power spectral for average, which is not for in this case. We need another one. By double click on any item we can go to the setting and here's the things that I'm gonna set it's just a sample based on your project you can put different amounts for different things I set frequency at 10 Hertz and change the rod per second to Hertz and then ok for rate transition you do not need to do anything and by double click on modulator I just set the carrier frequency at 150 Hertz then we set setting for demodulator which is the carrier frequency of course at 150 Hertz and then cutoff frequency at 150 Hertz For the power spectral density, I put one two five one two, and then plot after five one two, and sample time zero point zero zero one. That's okay. All right. It will start from signal generator. Then we connect it to the ray transition and then from the ray transition to modulator and then from modulator to the modulator and then from the modulator to the final stage which is the power spectral density so we want to see a signal in the different stage so we need another power density too just easily by 
right click on it and copy and paste it it like a word you can create another one and the setting is the same you do not need to worry about the setting I need one for here and another one here I want a sample signal from here and one from here. I just set a name that you can see the output better. By clicking on the item that looks like a gear here, you are gonna go to configuration parameter. And again, it's just a sample. Step time is one second. I choose it fixed step and ODE5. Then automatically handle rate transition. Okay. So then by, by clicking on the button that looks like a play in media, which is here, it will start to run. I just set them in the order that you can see what's going to happen to the signal. Here is the basic data and here is the signal after modulating and here is after the modulating as you can see the data is set on the carrier and actually you can see the carrier signal is exactly a start to carry a data in this picture next thing that I'm gonna do is that I want to replace the modulator with multipilot which we go to the view and the library browsing we need something called product this is act like multiplayer we put it here it has two input one of them is from signal generator and for another one I add a sine wave just take care we have two one of them is sine wave function which is not in this case one of them is sine wave we want this one and after a sine wave we need rate transition copy paste and then from the sine wave to rate transition and then rate transition to multiplier for setting of the sine wave I'm gonna set a frequency at 150 multiplied by 2 multiplied by pi just consider it is rod per second and then the phase pi divided by 2 and that's ok so I'm gonna run it and here is the output that are set in the order but you should tell it in the comments below that is it same as a previous one or is there any difference between them or what's gonna happen are this model look like same or not next we create a dual sideband with transmitted carrier which is DSBWC it looks like a DSBSC but with different things I just delete that one and that one and delete the DSBSC in the view library browsing I search DSB the 
and this time we choose this one first is modulator second we need the modulator we put it here let me delete this one we put it here and then here By double click on the DSP, I just set the input signal offset at 1.5 and then carrier frequency at 150 Hertz. And DSP demodulator, I put input signal offset at 1.5 carrier frequency 150 Hertz and then cutoff frequency 150 and then we run it I just set them in order that you can see what's gonna happen to the signal here is after signal generator and here is after modulator and here is after the modulator that's it All right in the future I'm gonna go through SSP model and more about telecommunication